And now there's been a great deal of frustration among people who have waited as much as seven hours to cast their ballot. WRTV's Rafael Sanchez talks with our political insiders about the number of voting sites and the impact. What does that say about the status of voting and the interest in voting that the Marion County Clerk expanding the voting hours at the city county building. Oh, it's exciting to see that people are waiting in line, but the bad part about that is that for every person that's in that line, there's gonna be people who see that line and don't go out and vote. The Republicans statewide and at the county level in Indiana have done everything they can to make it hard for you to vote. Um, they only gave us five polling early satellite sites. Hamilton County has six. We are a much larger county than Hamilton County, but because we're Marion County, we only get five. The state of Indiana could have and should have done what they did in the primary, which was allow no fault absentee. We don't have no fault absentee, and it's because the governor refused to stand up to Donald Trump. And it's, most, it's one of the most outrageous things this governor has done. It should have been no fault absentee like it was in the primary. We have more COVID infections in the state of Indiana than we did when we made the decision to make it no fault absentee. It's an outrage that people are having to wait six hours in Indianapolis to cast a vote. It makes me mad. There was one plan that was presented to the election board uh, and it was approved unanimously uh, as is required by law for the largest number of early voting sites in Marion County since we started doing, doing early voting. This in addition to um, all of the ability to do mail voting and in addition to moving to vote centers where you can vote at any one of 188 locations for 12 hours um, on election day. The one benefit about this whole process and the lines is it's going to educate voters as to how these decisions are made. And I think it's going to get them very engaged in this process at a much earlier state and become much more um, active as to these decisions that are being made at your county level. Our political insiders, thank you so much. And our Democracy 2020 coverage continues right now on WRTV.com.